Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've uh, <clears throat> managed to push myself to do a few jobs today and I really wanted to get back on track with the uh, Redline Airsoft N7 G2 Milsim. I know it's a mouthful to say. Build for none other than kicking Mustang. And I'd done a couple of bits, so I thought what I'll do, do a quick video and I'll show you the update so I'm going to pull this off apart so what the gun originally came with was this really crap hop unit that uh, obviously Novrich install brass barrel nothing to write home about there and a very very hard um, just bog standard AEG rubber and we're gonna beef that up a little bit for him so I took his original barrel and I've machined it down today, so it's got a 14mm counterclockwise thread. I'm sticking with that thread. I could have done it to 16mm clockwise and just put the um, Silverbacks press straight on, but I thought if, the, if there's any a point in future where, you know, maybe he wants to put something else on there, that thread is going to enable him to do that. So this will just go straight back onto the upper receiver. isn't its final fitment so don't worry this just needs to be hand tight then we can pop the rail on there again this is going to come apart again so we don't need to stress too much about it i'm just using a torx because it's what i've got to hand just to nip these up anything that concerns me about the mtw rail is that's all that holds holds it on so I'm hoping that's got a strong enough hold on the rifle to where it doesn't come loose if it does uh, pose a problem in the future we can always change it I did kind of toy with the idea of putting my Mark IV Geisley rail on there um, because the uh, launch will mount straight to that I don't know perhaps if you think that's a better idea let me know down in the comments below and we'll switch this out for the Geisley Mark IV uh, it's very much not a real one this is just a copy I don't think they actually made the real Mark IVs in this length I think it's about 7 inch but it's a very nice rail that's what came off my B15 PDW build uh, which of course now has a very short front end on so right so we've got the uh, the outer barrel done I've machined him a stainless AG barrel here and we have a Flamingo AEG hot rubber there with a nice patch. This has been done to suit that patch so the patch perfectly fits in that window there, as you'll see. And we get a nice positive contact patch coming down into the barrel. And again, digging from my array of parts that I have, um, this is going to be going into a Crytac hop unit. The Crytac hop units are pretty damn good. I fitted these into a couple of builds and they perform quite well. The rotary style hop unit in these is pretty good. So we can click that on there. Just clip that into place. Make sure nothing's pinched. I'm going to use the little brass ring off the old setup just to bridge that gap in the hop unit uh, and the the hop units have these this little nub that sits in place so it can't move uh, and what I'm actually going to do I'm going to take a picture of this measure it up and I'm going to produce uh, a new nub for these Crytac arms which gives us a much larger contact area because at the moment it's very small and we can do a lot better so I'll need to clock that up and do some CAD and think about how I'm going to do best do this. But that's the way it's going to go on there. Um, and then of course the wheel and stuff goes on. And when these are connected, you do get a really nice tactile click. And it holds it in place. So I do like these hot units. So that's what it's going to be. I'll just pop this. Let's pop the spring on there. Pop this in so you can see it. 
like the fact that they come with these slimline springs as well and hope that I, my measurements were correct they are so you see that comes right to the end now the only thing I did notice with these barrels from uh, Novrich the outer barrel that is is the bore is the internal bore is off center on the barrel not much I can do about that really I don't think it's going to pose much of an issue the barrel still sits in there nice and tight it just goes to show you the uh, poor manufacturing that goes into these Novrich AEGs especially this one it's just a Chinese made M4 so there's nothing to write home about so that's where we are with it we've got some more work to do it is currently exceedingly hot here in the UK and it is pouring down with rain so it's stupidly humid just me standing uh, at the bench I'm just pouring with sweat so but I just thought I'd update on what's going on with this build we're getting there let me know what you guys think if I should do the rail change and go to the mark 4 it will hold on there there's a lot more fixtures so once the barrel nuts on there's two bolts that go through and they can't move forward or backwards and then you have the mounting fixtures on both sides to stop the rail rotating if you guys think I should stick with this one then happy days that's what I'll do I do have his Mark 23 suppressor so what I'll do is I'll machine and sleeve this and then drop it down to 14 mil negative and then that will sit perfectly there's what I like to do with the fitment on my rails is it's just ever such a slight gap so it's perfect nice big flat face for that to thread onto we're not going to have the weird thing where the caps are getting loose and you turn it one way or the other like on a lot of my other suppressors which I need to fix um, it's just going to go on there it's going to hold true it's been machined true to the bore um, so it should this should sit nice and true on the rifle and not have any sort of uh, strikes at the end of the cap so yeah there's the update not far to go now once I've got this sort of all done and the suppressor on and the new hop nub made for the hop unit we can start testing this thing and make sure we're getting good power out of it uh, which will probably be the next video because I'm probably going to go through quite a few variations of prototyping on this part if you think I should release this part on the website when I'm finished let me know and I'll do that for you because the Crytax are quite a popular platform so thanks for tuning into this video and as always from me and Bench thank you very much for the support you gave in my last video it really is appreciated uh, and I'm going to try and keep marching onwards so thanks for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one